Recently, I launched my first product hunt product, and here are five lessons that I learned from it. Hey, welcome back to the channel. I'm Connor, a full stack developer and SaaS maker from the UK. A few weeks ago, at the start of 2023, I launched my first product on Product Hunt, Harken, a software as a service for Spotify to allow you to track back playlists as you've created them. Um, it was a bit of a roller coaster launching it, so here are five lessons that I learned from my experience launching my first product. Let's get into them. The first lesson is the launch of your product on Product Hunt is the part of your marketing and not the start of it. By this, I mean when you launch your product, yes, it's the first day people can officially first use it and get their hands on it and actually start interacting and playing with this product that you've labored over, but it shouldn't be the first they've heard of it. The first listing in the product on page shouldn't be the first thing they've ever heard of your product. They should be seeing it weeks and months before um, as you build it in public, preferably. For me, this took the instance of building on Twitter and on social media, sharing instances and videos and pictures and the progress of the product as it was being created. This uh, led to people getting an interest in it. So when the launch day came, it wasn't the first they've heard of it. So the first lesson, the launch day isn't the start of your marketing journey with your SaaS product. It's actually just a part of it. And if anything, it's quite a far a long part of it because at that point, you've spent all this time building it and laboring it. You should be now showing it off to the world and people should already be aware of it. So don't treat it as the start, treat it as just a milestone on the journey. The second lesson is that you should be available to fix issues on launch day. Something I didn't expect on launch day was to have the product essentially break on me and have a couple of users who I luckily knew quite well come up to me and be like, I'm experiencing this issue in, this, in their case. It was the product not refreshing and not showing the data. So it was a pretty fundamental issue. Um, luckily I was available on the day to push a fix and to get it working again. And they could validate that for me, but it's not ideal, obviously, first of all, having it happen on launch day, but the fact that I was there available, ready to fix these issues on such a pivotal moment um, in its history of this product was very important. And it's something I highly recommend is to be available, carve out some time, interact with people, take their feedback and fix issues and be on the lookout for issues on your launch day. Because having a product on Product Hunt that doesn't work is a very quick way to tank your rankings. For lesson three, don't rush it. For me, I chose to launch Harkin on a Friday, mainly because I was keen to get it out the door, get it in people's hands and actually let them use it to get some feedback. Um, striving to follow the kind of indie hacker golden principle of don't strive for perfection, you know, get it out there, get feedback, move on, iterate, uh, and don't get hung up on things. I think I took that a bit too literally and um, skipped some vital steps such as testing, getting more beta user feedback and actually getting into people's hands like a close circle of beta users um, and then fixing those issues as they came up. If I did go for something like this and did spend the extra two weeks waiting for product feedback and users to test this in a beta period, I reckon I'd have skipped and resolved a lot of the issues that happened on launch day. So a key piece of advice that I could give you now after my launch and how it went was don't rush it. If you think you're ready, just check, spend another week just refining, getting some user feedback from close users that you trust, fixing that feedback in issues if they have any, and then going on for your launch and scanning, scheduling your launch. For lesson four, it's not the be end and end all your product on launch. If your product on launch goes amazing and you get first, obviously that's an amazing achievement and something to shout about. But also if like in my case, you came 10th on the day and I'm still very proud of coming 10th. It's not a failure. It's not the end of the world. You don't need to get hung up on this. There are plenty of products out there, A, that never launched on product hunt and B, um, got like 10th on the day, 15th, 20th, 9th. They didn't get that top spot that many people strive for. And guess what? They're the ones that are still earning six plus figures every year. So just because you didn't get that top spot, just because you didn't get that covenant number one, number two, number three product launch of the day, doesn't mean your product won't be successful. So don't get hung up on that, thinking that if I don't get number one, oh, my product's doomed, it's never gonna work, it's never gonna succeed, because that's a load of crap, <laughs> honestly. You can still have a very successful product and not come number one on the day. The final lesson, lesson number five I have, is just enjoy it. For me, doing my first product on launch and actually getting a product from idea, from conception through to launching it and having some users um, interacting with the product and using it and giving feedback was worth 
like uh, so much, it was worth 10 times more than I could ever have imagined. And it's an enormous achievement that you should be very proud of. Um, so just take the day in and enjoy it as a celebration of the actual hard work and commitment you've put into it. Of course, if there's a business side to this and it's your income and you need it to be successful, then it's just like a different story. And But you can still enjoy it. You should still take a step back and be immensely proud of the accomplishments that you've made along the way and the product you've made. So just take the day in as it comes, enjoy it, fix the issues if any come up, hopefully they don't, um, and just take in the feedback and just enjoy your product hunt experience. And that's it, that's the five lessons that I gathered um, from building my first product at Harkin and launching it on Product Hunt. It was a roller coaster building the product and sharing the experience of that. And I mean, the Product Hunt launch day itself was a massive roller coaster with the bugs that happened and the issues that occurred. But overall, it was an amazing experience and I really look forward to doing it again when I build my next product. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful. And if you're interested in reading the write-up of this, video then I'll be sure to include the link to the newsletter edition that this featured in first um, and if you're interested in getting more content like this then make sure to consider subscribing to my newsletter where I write content similar to this every week. So again thank you for watching, um, I hope you found this an enjoyable video and until next time thanks for watching.